Hi everyone, Father Alex here, hope you're all okay. Uh, well, with the help of Reverend Cat and a few friends of ours, we have made another video assembly for you all at Rosewood School. This one is all about remembrance. Hi, like we did at the start of the last video assembly, we're going to begin by lighting a candle. And if you remember, we do this as a sign that Jesus is the light of the world. Christians believe that no matter where they are, Jesus is with them. I believe that he's there with you too. And so now we've got our candle lit, we're going to go straight into a story from the Bible. This is a story about some things that Jesus said. One day, Jesus was walking up a big hill and lots and lots of people were following him. So he sat down and he began to teach them about different things. This is some of what he said. Blessed are those who know they need God's help. Heaven belongs to them. Blessed are those who are sad. They will be comforted. Blessed are those who don't show off, but think of others first. They will be given the earth. Blessed are those who want what is right and what is fair. God will satisfy them. Blessed are those who are kind and forgiving to others. God will be kind and forgiving to them. Blessed are those who try to please God in what they do and think. They will see God. Blessed are those who are peaceful and try to stop others from fighting. God will call them his children. Blessed are people who get hurt for doing the right thing. God's kingdom belongs to them. So all the people listened really carefully to what Jesus was saying. It really made them think. They listened to him for quite a long time and then they went away thinking about those things. I wonder if those words that Jesus said in that story made you think too. Some of the sentences were a little bit confusing, weren't they? We're just going to think about a few of them for a few moments now. And while we think about them, it's going to help us to think about Remembrance Day, which takes place on the 11th of November every single year. And also Remembrance Sunday, which takes place on the closest Sunday to Remembrance Day, this year on the 8th of November. So firstly, Jesus said, blessed are those who want what is right and what is fair. And Jesus also said, blessed are those who get hurt for doing the right thing. This means that Jesus loves it when people stand up for others and when they try and make sure that everyone's treated equally and everyone's treated fairly. Another way of saying this is that Jesus loves justice. Jesus loves justice. At this time of remembrance, Remembrance Day, Remembrance Sunday, we give thanks for all those people who try to make our world fairer and more just. Jesus also said, blessed are those who are peaceful and try to stop others fighting. Blessed are the peacemakers. In another part of the Bible, Jesus is described as the Prince of Peace. So also at this time of remembrance, Remembrance Day and Remembrance Sunday, we pray for peace. We pray for peace all across the earth. And the third thing I want us to think about is that Jesus said, 
Blessed are those who are sad. They will be comforted. Blessed are those who are sad. Another word for that is mourn. Blessed are they who mourn. So at this time of remembrance, we think about people who have died, particularly people who have died fighting for justice, people who have died in wars. And we pray for all people who are sad because they miss people who have died. Well, here we are. We're at uh, St Matthew's Church. This is our war memorial here with uh, names of people uh, from our little part of Burnley who died in the First World War. Now, on Remembrance Sunday and on Remembrance Day, all over the country, names of people who were killed are read out and a tune is played, which is called The Last Post. Kaz is going to play that for us now while we think about just some of the people from Burnley who fought for justice so that we can all live in peace. Corporal Harvey Booth, he lived at 7 Berry Street. Edward Catlow, Lance Corporal James Catlow, they were both brothers and lived on Cog Lane at number 81. And Private Ephraim Hartley, and Private Hiram Hartley, and Private Howarth Hartley, they were all brothers. And they also lived on Cog Lane. And Private Edwin Forrest, who lived at 299 Manchester Road. And Sergeant Ben Ingham, who lived at 177 Accrington Road, and who was a Sunday school teacher here at St Matthew's Church. And then, 2nd Lieutenant Alfred Victor Smith, who lived on Scott Park Road and was given a very special award called the Victoria Cross for his bravery. We're now going to spend some time praying, and Esther is going to help us do that now. Hi everyone, we're going to say some prayers together now using one of these red poppies. You might have seen them in town, sometimes you can buy them and you pin them onto your clothes as a sign of respect as we celebrate or think about Remembrance Day. Today I'm going to say a prayer looking at the different parts of the poppy. 
And I wonder if you would like to join in the prayer that you might want to say Amen at the end, which means I agree. Let's pray. Let's look at the red petals. Red reminds us of danger and harm. Let's ask God to be close to those who are still facing danger every day. Let's ask God to give courage to our armed forces and compassion to all who help others. God, please help those who are in areas of our world where there is fighting and war. Now I'm going to place my hand over the whole poppy. Poppies are fragile and they need to be handled gently. God cares for those who are hurting and those who are sad. Let's ask God to comfort all who are grieving for the loss of someone they love. God, please look after everyone who is sad because someone they care for has died. Now I'm just going to place my finger on the centre of the poppy. Let's ask God to help us to play a part in working for peace in the world. God, please show us how we can help our world to be peaceful. Help us to be caring to other people, to speak up for those who are being hurt by others and to avoid fighting wherever possible. And lastly, we want to look at the whole poppy. Poppies are bright and cheerful flowers. Even in our sad moments, in times when we hurt or our situations are difficult, we still have God with us and people who love and care for us. Thank you, God, for those who bring joy and share kindness with others, making this world and our community a bright and cheerful place to be. Amen. Thank you for watching our video assembly about Remembrance Day and Remembrance Sunday. We hope you found it really interesting and we hope to be able to see you soon. Take care.